Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hey, he's a Marine. Massive brawl breaks out at Trump's star. Marine promptly ends it. President Trump's Hollywood Walk of Fame star was destroyed this week by a leftist named Austin Clay, 24, with a pickaxe. He obliterated it and then bragged that several celebrities, including Robert De Niro, called him to pat him on the back for it and offer their support. That guy was arrested for felony vandalism and was bailed out on a $20,000 bond. He's really proud of what he did. But that was just the beginning of the incident. The official Hollywood greeter is a Trump supporter and showed up to get a piece of the broken star and offer his support with others for President Trump. They began restoring the star the day it was destroyed. A wild brawl erupted at the site of the star Thursday night as singer Joy Villa and other supporters of President Trump held a vigil to show their support for the president. They were singing the national anthem and were posing with a cutout of Trump. A youth pastor and YouTuber, Elijah Schaefer, decided to go out in full MAGA gear to see how supporters of the president are treated in public. It did not go well. Anti-Trump protesters showed up itching for a fight. Shortly thereafter, the fight began. Things quickly escalated and spiraled out of control. At this point it's unclear exactly what led to the flying of fists, but you had liberal activists shouting provocative stuff at the Trump supporters and using expletives to make their point. During the incident, a man approached the group and began demeaning them for being white, while calling Villa, who is of mixed racial heritage, Enga. As the situation escalated, the man began to rile up the crowd that had formed to chant FCK Trump. That man left and came back with a number of other men and a big knife. Yahoo blamed Trump, Donald Trump incited a brawl in Hollywood on Thursday night, and the president wasn't even in town. Catchy, but not true. Video of the brawl went viral and it is riveting. Social media personality Austin Fletcher put the video out there along with Joy Villa. A man with a camera was attacked and drop-kicked for his troubles. Villa later posted a follow-up tweet on the absolutely insane incident, for which she said a police report has been filed for assault and burglary. They attacked my guard Tony Hoffman and started hitting my camera crew and myself, Schaefer explained. The violent group also stole the YouTuber's $3,000 camera. We sang and took selfies with supporters and fans until we were viciously attacked by four men who beat up our teammate, a Marine, she said on Twitter. We invited conversation, he attacked. Villa also pointed out that they were running a social experiment when they were attacked. So now wearing a Trump jersey with a Joy underscore Villa is enough to get your crew beaten up in Los Angeles. JK. We stood our ground. They stole our $3,000 camera, said Elijah Schaefer. When the fighting started, one of Trump's supporters kept yelling that the guy being punched by leftists was a Marine. Hey, he's a Marine. That Marine ended things by fighting back and putting the other guy down. Following the assault, the crowd once again began chanting FCK Donald Trump. As members of Schaefer's crew were bleeding on the sidewalk. We were doing a social experiment to see how one would be treated as an open Trump supporter, Schaefer told the Gateway Pundit. It turns out that it's not very safe to be one. The police located the group's vehicle and identified the attacker. Schaefer claims to have found the man and his mother on social media and his team has offered to drop the charges if the attacker will agree to appear on a talk show discussing the incident. I'm not sure that is wise. It's akin to rewarding violent behavior. From the Gateway Pundit Your son and his friend assaulted my crew and are facing serious charges from the LAPD, including armed assault and armed robbery because they stole my $3,000 camera. They are also facing potential hate crime charges for calling my crew the N-word and pointing out my security was white before assaulting him. We have serious lawyers in place and willing to push the full extent of the law. However, as his mother I know that you don't want your boy to get slammed with 15 years in prison for one stupid night. We are willing to drop the charges which are already filed if he agrees to come on our talk show and discuss what happened. Please let me know if he is interested," Schaefer wrote in a message to the man's mother. No one was arrested and no one was evidently seriously injured. But after seeing this video, I would say leftists definitely started it and should have to answer for their actions here. And what about the theft? Things are getting really volatile out there and the left wants a fight. Thursday night proved that. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.